This week's brought challenges. Hurricane force wind gusts left a path of destruction and power outages. Now, what does this have to do with a story about COVID-19 cases? The health department says between the holiday Monday and Tuesday storm, the 656 new cases may be because people got tested later in the week. We try not to look at one day's worth of data and draw too many conclusions from it. That's why we look at things like rolling seven-day averages for percent positivity and for caseload growth. Right now, the seven-day rolling average is 402 cases, which is lower than last week's average of 409 COVID-19 cases. Almost half of those cases are from children and people aged 15 to 24. The CDC released a study Friday showing the spread of COVID-19 from children at daycares to adults. Look at this chart. It shows at least 12 young kids transmitted the disease to 12 parents or siblings at home. The CDC recommends even daycare workers wear masks. Back to Friday's large caseload. While it may not be a confirmed trend, a spokesperson for the health department admits they want to see what's going on. In the meantime, he hopes people won't let their guards down even as more counties move to green restrictions. COVID is still here and now is not the time to get complacent about doing things like wearing masks and physically distancing and staying home when we're sick. These are all still really important behaviors. In Salt Lake City, Sydney Glenn, Fox 13 News, Utah.